Hello everyone, John Bloodworth Gentleman Crafter here, coming to you with an update to Canvas Workspace, and this applies to both Windows and Mac versions of the installable Canvas Workspace. So this is the software that you would download and install on your computer. Now I'm just going to show you how to find out the current version on Canvas Workspace so that you can see if you need to update. So I'm opening the installed version of Canvas Workspace, so this is not the one that you access through the internet. And I'm going down on the help menu to about, and I can see here I'm currently using version 2.2.0. Now the updated version is at number 2.3.0 for Macs and 0.1 for Windows, so I will need to update mine. I'll show you now how to do that. Just before continuing with this particular tutorial, I would like to take a moment to remind you about my full scan and cut course that's available now on udemy.com. You can watch anywhere, anytime, ask questions and bookmark favorite sections. It's already received hundreds of five-star reviews. Follow the link in the description below to find out more. Okay, to get the download, I'm going to support.brother.com and choosing my region. Then I'm going to go into the download section, choose cutting machines from the menu that pops up, and then choose the model of machine that I currently have working. Now obviously it applies to both CM and DX models. I choose the operating system of my computer and then click OK. And then I can see various different downloads that are currently available. I can see at the top the machines software. I don't need to update that. It's actually Canvas Workspace. You can see down the bottom um, and the version and when that was released. So I'd click on Canvas Workspace. Agree to the end user license agreement by clicking on the big blue button. And then while that downloads, obviously I'm saving it to my downloads folder, but while that downloads I'll just very quickly take you through what's been updated. So the first thing, and it's a very cool thing, is the fact that we've now got a fit to path function for text. So you can now fit uh, whatever text you want around any shape you want, and that includes open paths as well. It's available in the Process Overlap menu, and I will show you in detail where to find that in a minute. Um, but also we have the option to convert text to shapes, which means we can edit the individual nodes of those characters before exporting them. Also included is a file previewer, so if you're using Windows on Mac, you should now be able to see a preview of the design in your folder browser. I'll show you again in a minute more about that. There are a couple of other additional um, updates that I'll talk about in a moment, but first up I'll go ahead and install the new version of Canvas Workspace using the installer. Once the installation process is completed, you can choose to launch the Canvas Workspace straight away or uncheck that box and click Finish. When you are ready, just double click the icon that will be on your desktop and it will launch Canvas Workspace. When it opens, we've now got a little news box that tells us about the new features that have been updated in version 2.3. I'm not sure they noticed the spelling mistake on web browser, but we'll let them off. Just click OK. And now I'll just make sure that the installation went OK by checking the version, and yes, we can see there 2.3.1. So let's have a look and see what this is all about. 
So the first thing that I will do is apply some text and that you do in the same way you will have done before. So you click the text icon, click on the mat and then type the word or phrase that you want to use. Next, because we can fit it to a path, I'll just load up um, a shape. Circles are usually the ones that people want to use, so I'll load that on. Then I will select both the text and the shape. I am applying some color, but this is just so you can see what I'm doing rather than having any function. Then from the edit menu, we go down to process overlap and we can now see the new tools there, text and convert to shapes. I'm going to click on the fit to path icon and you can see there it's automatically assigned the text to that circular shape. Now we can resize that group as we did before and we can rotate it but there are a couple of extra things that we can now do as well. We can move the starting point of the text by clicking on that little blue plus um, icon and moving it around the circle's edge. And this applies to whatever shape you're applying it to. And then in the properties tab, we can make adjustments to the alignment of that text. So um, it will choose this horizontal alignment based on the last or first character. So for example, if I've got it aligned left, it will use the first character because it's aligning it all to the left of that plus icon. If I chose right, it would position it all to the right of that icon. And of course, I can distribute it evenly across that entire path as well with the distribute function. I can also, by clicking on the text, edit the text, and then when I exit the editing, it will update the text on the path. In addition, we can change the vertical alignment. So we can choose to have the bottom of the text aligned with the shape, the middle of the text, or the top of the text. We can also choose the direction the path uses. So you can go from the start to the end, or the end to the start. And this will change various different aspects of the vertical alignment as well. We can combine with that with the character spacing that we already had available to spread that text out a little bit more if we needed to. So as you can see, you can use those different things in combination with each other to create various different effects. Now, once we have everything done, or once we have our text on the mat, if you click Convert to Shapes, this now becomes a, an editable shape, much like our basic shapes. So if we double click on it, we can then edit the individual nodes that go to make up those character shapes. Could be useful in some instances because we could take away certain sections of the letter or extend certain sections as well. Just going back to when it was originally a text on a path, we can hide the shape, which means that when you transfer that design, it won't cut the circle. And also we can draw and pierce if we have the relevant tools available. Just before continuing with this particular tutorial, I would like to take a moment to remind you about my full scan and cut course that's available now on udemy.com. You can watch anywhere, anytime, ask questions and bookmark favourite sections. It's already received hundreds of five-star reviews. Follow the link in the description below to find out more. Here are some other examples of the text to path. Here I used it on a rounded triangle, on a heart shape, on an arch, on a pennant, and also on an open line. So there's many different ways that we can use this brand new tool to canvas workspace. Okay, on with the next update. 
Now previously when looking at FCM files or project files in our Windows Explorer or file browser we weren't able to see a preview of the design. When you save projects in version 2.3 of Canvas Workspace now you will now be able to see the actual design as laid out in your project file. And this also means that you will be able to see FCM previews as well. And there we go. So a project file there, you can see the preview of the design laid out. And then over on the left is the FCM file. So it's a smaller preview, but you'll still be able to see on your computer what those design files are. An additional update to Canvas Workspace is the automatic checking for updates. So as opposed to waiting for videos from me, you'll get a notification whenever you open your software if you leave that tick box checked. And those are the updates for version 2.3 of Canvas Workspace. That's it for this video. If you have enjoyed your time with me today, please remember to give this video a thumbs up and subscribe for notifications of future videos. In the meantime, thank you again for watching and I will see you hopefully next time.